beautifuls and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. If today the first time that you're here on my channel, welcome to the MA Beauty family. My name is Marilyn. So getting to the point, I'm going to be, I know I'm late to this part, okay? um, but I'll be reviewing my BoxyCharm um, for the month of August. This is my birthday month, so I'm more than excited to be reviewing this. On my channel, BoxyCharm, it's a, a subscription for every month and the cost is $21. You get five to six products, four to five to six products, it all depends, on a box and they're all full size. For this box and the theme, it will give you a little card just like this and the theme for this is um, give it up, give it up, 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 and give it up and live it up. And let's see what we find here. You got the party here. And um, in this boxy charm, um, life, it's all about the party. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six items. And this one, I can't find one of them because I already used it. But I'm sorry, I'm reviewing only one thing. You got the Laura Lee Los Angeles um, Party Animal Eyeshadow Palette. That is this one right here. You get the Becca and the Laura Lee um, eyeshadow palette it's $19 you also get the Becca assorted primers I got the one and I got the one that it says that this is a 12 hour shine control um, ever matte poreless primer um, perfecter and this costs about 15 to 18 dollars then I have the wonder in this one right here the Wonder Brand Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask, and this costs about $13. Uh, Beauty Bang. It's a chocolate eyeliner, and I already took it out of the box. Problem with this is not, and this could be an eyeliner, but it's a chocolate color. It will not be suitable for a lot of people, but you could use this for being able to use. You could use it eyeliner, brow uh, pomade, or you could use it as a base, base for an eyeshadow. And then lastly, you have the So Rich for NCLA, So Rich Lollipop Lollipop. And this will be a cuticle oil. And this costs $18. So, those are the products. I also got the Smashbox, I believe. Yeah, Smashbox lip product. I am so sorry. I can't find it. I already used it and I'm in love with it because it was... I. I'm in love with it because it was a metal color and I didn't have anything metal um, besides the NYX, but um, I was looking for it. I can't find it, so I'm sorry. All right, so getting to the point, I want to review. I already saw some reviews on um, this month's box and not a lot of people were happy putting my box away. Not a lot of people were happy with this eyeshadow palette. I went and watched and saw the Laura Lee Los Angeles, um, the Laura Lee Los Angeles, uh, when she came out with the palette, um, and she said that this was not a palette, this was a pigment, I'm doing some swatches, a pigment palette, a pressed pigment palette, so that almost gives me the no, you know, the saying that, hey, it's, you're gonna, you might have some problems because it's not, uh, it's not the same way. Well, it will not blend the same way as an eyeshadow palette. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm a makeup lover. So let's get that straight before you guys come up to me. But so far, all my subscribers um, that I have on my channel are super sweet to me. And But yeah, I'm going to do some swatches so you guys can see um, how this applies. And the swatches are pretty good. You have one, two, three, four um, shadows that they're completely matte. And then... One that it's kind of metal or, you know, it has a different texture and one that it has some glitter. So these are the swatches right here. These two, this one, I don't know if you can see it, it has like a not dual chrome, but it gets like that feeling. And this one has some glitter and then these three are completely matte. This is how the Party Animal Lori Los Angeles palette looks like. Let me go ahead and blend and put it down all the way. What I like, it gives all the names of the um, of the palette, of the press um, pigment palette, and also give you a nice mirror so you could be checking yourself out as you use this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and first 
use a transition color on my eyelid. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna be using my Dare to Create palette, um, the 39.8 palette, and I'm gonna give myself a nice transition color. I'm gonna be using since those colors are so bold. I'm gonna use this color right here and use it as a base. use um, drinks which is this color right here and I'm gonna get a small real techniques technique brush I'm gonna try to apply that I don't know what I'm going for but I'm just trying to do a different look of pretty much everybody that's doing online so everybody's bringing this shade to the crease I'm gonna bring it to my brow bone area And one with a different brush. This is another real technique. Technique. I'm gonna use this color right here. It's a party. And I'm really gonna highlight the brow bone area up in the crease and the brow bone area. Just to give me a flush of a lighter shade. And so far those two blend like a dream. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna be cutting my crease slightly so with i'm going to be using my Too Faced multi multi what Too Faced born this way multi sculpting concealer and this is in shade natural beige or neutral beige and with this i've been liking to do this technique is just use my finger to place it um because i just want i don't want something to cut all the way just to have a base for these colors all right so I like to take I want to take these colors first with my fingers everybody's using a brush I'm trying to do something different to see if this will really work um, on my eyelids so I'm gonna start with um, gonna start with bottoms up and I'm gonna place that right there And it's picking up the pigment as I want it. And I'm going to blend it. With my finger but having the most color in the center. I'm going to get ahead. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to go. This is the color that pretty much everybody's having an issue with hungover. Let's see if I have a better look using my fingers and I'm going to place that on my outer V area. And with my finger, it's applying fairly uh pretty good, I must say. I'm not complaining yet. Now I give it a fair shot. So it's giving me exactly the color that um the pigment has and i'm going to try to blend both together just patting motions sorry if you hear noises but that's my my machine drying all right so so far so good I'm going to use this fluffy brush and kind of blend the edges slightly so. All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And then I'm going to bring this um, color right here to the inner most corner. And I'm just using my fingers. By using your fingers, you have a little bit more control of the um, of the eyeshadows. Guys, so far so good. I'm liking this palette. I, I was a little intimidated with the reviews, um, but you have to try it for yourself. I know um, not a lot. This is not a look that it will be wearable to everywhere you go. 
it will be something that I will wear anywhere I go because I do love these colors. All right, so for my inner corner, I'm going to get a pencil brush. Actually, I'm going to get this brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to apply this color in my inner corner. The green again. Using this type of brush, it has it's a little angled. I'm gonna go back to hang uh, hungover, and I'm gonna apply this in my lower lash line. And for this, I really need to see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna pack this color in. It doesn't look patchy or anything like that. I really like the color. And then the only color that I need to use, it will be this color right here. I'm going to take the same one. They are powdery, so I don't usually don't have no problem with that. I'm going to be using a brush just like this to clean this out up here, the edges, because I really need to blend. So I'm going to go with drinks. And I'm going to focus this up here. And then I'm bringing the same color drinks kind of to um, bring it on the bottom of the eye just to use it as a transition shade. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eyelashes and everything else. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, so my face, it's already snatch um instead of using um the purple i did put some purple um eyeliner on the edge but i didn't like how it looked it needed something a little bit brighter and a pop of color so a pop of glitter so i end up just following it along with my glitter from nyx this glitter right here this is um the crystal liquids and this is in shade of course gold so that's what I have in my inner corner on the arch. Then I have it on the tail and I place a little bit here on the um, inner tear duct area. Just to give me a little bit of some, some, some. I am so proud of this makeup look. So let's get to reviewing the palette. That's the most um, important portion, at least on my box, because I think a lot of people were having issues with this palette. Um, if you understand that, um, and I don't want to talk negative to anybody, what I end up using because I went straight to after looking at some of the um, some of the videos uh, of reviewing um, this month's palette, I went back to Laura Lee's Los Angeles um, or Laura's um, channel, and I went directly to the video where they were presenting this, so they were saying that this were pigment. I end up using very dense brushes such as these ones right here, tiny, tiny brushes. To fluff it up um, with the matte colors, I use small brushes just like this one. And where was the other one that I used? I used three brushes. And something like this from e.l.f. And that's what I have in my inner corner and I place that on the brown bone brow bone area and the rest i use my fingers so that's what i did i didn't have no patchiness um and it's the problem that's not a problem it's the way that the palace is designed this is not a um it's a satin but it's a different type of pressed pigment and the way it looks on um, it just grabs and it's a hard if you use it with your finger, let's put it this way, you could blend it out no problem. But when you when you use a brush to apply it, let's say you could use like a kind of fluffy brush, fluffy herb brush. Let's grab this one. Then when you start doing circular motion, it will start to look patchy. I don't know if you guys can see the patchiness. Yeah, you can see the patchiness. So I went and did and, and did this. It has like a dual chromey finish so because it's a pigment that's why a lot of people were having problems what I end up doing it's swatching it diffusing it with my finger and then do it with a brush that's why a lot of people were having problems and look the pigmentation when you blend it out and when you blend it out with your fingers 
So I believe this palette is a lot easier to use with your fingers. Um, I love what I have. Um, I tried it once. I'm going to be honest. I try, I, try, I try to do exactly one of the makeup look of um, somebody that I saw. And I was using just blending brushes and anything else. It went south. Now, I said, okay, let me sit down again when I'm ready to film this video. Today, I'm off of work. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not rushing. So let's do some comparison here and there. It's a lot easier when you use your fingers. So what I ended up doing, like you guys saw on my base, I applied some Too Faced concealer um, to have more of the pigment to, to, to the pigment to have something to grab onto. I don't know if I'm explaining myself, but I think this makeup look looks very pretty. I, what I will use it anywhere probably will different shirt of course but I will I will rock this makeup look and I'm proud of what I did I usually don't I usually love these type of bold colors and I love it we're easy to blend yes why I end up using my fingers and then with my same fingers I end up blending and that's how you could get the most pigment in smooth blend so I hope you like this video guys and it was helpful for you how to use the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette um pigment palette let's put it that way this is not an eyeshadow palette this is a pigment palette so um don't forget yeah so this is it do i love my boxy charm i'm gonna keep on testing the other products but i wanted to do give you a review from the boxy charm especially with this product to just make sure that i created a look that it was suitable or something that it really worked um and i am in love with this palette right here um, so I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, click on the notification bell. That way, when I upload a video, you guys will be notified. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook page. You can find, find me also on Snapchat. I'm still, still working on Snapchat. But I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you um, like videos like this. And stay tuned for more videos. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Love yourself, but know that I love you so, so much. But above all, there's somebody that loves you the most, and that is God. And God bless you. Nos vemos en la próxima. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.